Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, coming into you live from Washington, DC. I think you see the background, there's Capital One Arena and uh, we are in the city, but today we are going to try out, you can see right there, Five Iron Golf. Never been here before. Some friends have said it's really cool. And for everyone who is subject to the cold weather and you gotta find ways to grind, this is going to be a pretty fun and exciting trip. Let's figure out how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, we are here, looking cool. Let's go check it out. This place, really, really cool, it has multiple bays. Good swing, wow. Multiple bays, TVs, full bar, draft stuff. This place is pretty awesome so far. Okay, so let's tee off here, and this is the first hole of Pebble Beach. The first two shots you're about to see, it's crappy camera angles, but it gets better. And I've played virtual golf and simulators before, and every one is a little bit different. Trackman versus the Foresight one versus, I guess there's a lot out there, Top Tracer. They're all a little bit different. I think my biggest mistake that I didn't realize is that the, the liar in gets taken into account. So the sand, the rough, etc. So there'll be a couple of shots that I wish I had back, but here you go. And you can see the camera angle is much better. So the first hole is a par four. And I had a pretty good drive. I hit a heavy nine iron, and then it leaves me the wedge in, which I actually stick pretty close. The one thing that I've learned pretty quickly about virtual golf is that it takes away my biggest strength, which I think is my short game. I consider myself pretty good, like 30 yards and in putting in particular. So just so we're clear in this video and moving forward, um, it is going to be on auto two-putt setting. Um, I think there's other options. I'm not sure what they are. That was just the default, so I decided to stick with it, but um, not complaining. It really does speed it up. Apparently, there is some sort of putting option you can do, but yeah, didn't want to experiment with it, and auto two-putt was fine. So as we're getting to the next tee box, do want to preface and share with the world that I am currently taking lessons in particular. It's all with driver. You're gonna see here, this is one of the worst, but I actually think I have one worse than this. That's the state of my driver right now. We are not looking great. We are in shambles. That went a whopping 164 yards and it was a big pull. Um, pretty sure that's just BOB in any other course, but I guess we're playing it from there. And I think my next video I'm going to post will be around my driver swing changes and what's going on. So I, I went back to my instructor and I'll try to post some of the videos he has me working on. But in summary, I, I'm one of the over the top and really flippy and casty with my right hand. So I, I'm really working on keeping my head a little more still, controlling my backswing and keeping my angles a lot better. Um, it's a lot easier said than done. It's funny, I know what to do and in theory how to do it. I just physically can't do it. So I am scrambling with a month left until the big Palm Springs tournament. So hopefully we can lock it down before then. So overall and so far in the round, not too mad. I think this is where you'll notice I, I played the number. Uh, I think I had like a hundred yards and I took my 105 club and I didn't account for the sand. And that's where it clicked in my head that you do have to account for things. Um, and Katie, the person I was playing with, she did explain to me some of that stuff. So it's Kind of just my fault for not really paying attention or listening, but I do try to adjust throughout. And this is um, this is probably one of my better shots of the day. Pulled it slightly left, but not mad with pin high. And it's funny, again, here on the simulator, we're chipping onto this. And this is going to be, look at this. I promise you in real life, there's no chance I do that. Because one, I'm putting it. <laughs> and obviously that's not an option here, but... I can, you can see I adjust right there and get it a little bit better. So kind of just the growing pains of learning how to play on a simulator. And as we get onto this tee box, uh, again, good thing I prefaced with driver swing changes and it's in shambles. So the good news for this one is I actually hit the club face, I think dead center. I pulled it super left and I think I got fortunate with some bounce there with um, to get some extra distance. But... Overall, not a good swing, and on most courses, that's probably OB again. And this was just a hero shot. I take a three-wood and just say, let's just try to get it there. 
Shocker. There's the OB. Really sick. Um, and I think this was a par 5, so selfishly for me, I was really trying to get there, um, get it up close. Luckily, I take the drop and I hit one on, and I think I end up making par here. So, and on to the next hole, and this is one I was really, really looking forward to. It's hole 7, the par 3 at Pebble Beach, where I think everyone knows this is like the... It's not an island green, but you can see here it's one that a lot of pros struggle with because you have the sea breeze and it's just swirling wind blowing everywhere. I'm really fortunate that I hit a really good shot to pin high and it auto two putted me for a par. And the driver's struggles continue. This was the worst swing of the day. I think a few holes ago when I said that was the worst swing, no, this, this takes the cake. Take a look at that. I think that was like a 164, 165 yard drive. Correct, that's my driver. Um, I decided to just take three wood and try to recover. Look at this ridiculous line I take. My three wood in theory should have covered this no problem. I don't know if the wind or whatever factored in, but I barely cleared that and I'm happy to be in the sand. And I think I was finally starting to get the hang of it. Uh, I think I had about 47 yards is what it said. I played this more like 80, 85, and you can see I hit a pretty good one onto the green. Auto two putted me. And here we go. We're going into the final stretch of holes. Um, I think that sand shot, maybe it just gave me some confidence and I was figuring it out and I hit probably the best drive of the day. It didn't go that far. I think that went a whopping 230, but as you can see with my driver struggles, I will take that 10 times out of 10 right now. As long as it's center fairway and somewhat controlled, I'm happy. And uh, by the way, this I think was like a 460 yard par four. So in real life, I think I just break down and cry, go into the fetal position because you know, 460 with the swirling wind of the ocean breeze. I actually don't know how that would play. Um, I hit one of my crappiest wedge shots there, but I do recover nicely, I think, right here with one of my better wedge shots of the day. So pretty good way to end it. Um, you know, I think I started finding my swing. We decided to call it after nine. Um, Katie and I actually had more fun just doing some target practice, but Good experience playing nine holes, and the short game area kind of pissed me off. That's another reason why we stopped. But you can see that I shot a, what was it, a six over? And I think there were a couple swings I do different and take back, and I think the early double bogey is easily avoidable if I figured out how to do and play the course better. But yeah, good nine. What's up, guys? So we just wrapped up the session at Five Iron Golf, and my thoughts after just a few things. One, super cool atmosphere. Uh, good music, had the football games playing, strongly approve of five iron golf. I think it's really good. The only downsides are it's a little expensive. Uh, I think it runs at like 65 bucks an hour, which, um, you know, you're kind of paying for the atmosphere, but, uh, that was pretty cool and availability is really hard to get. So if you're not booked like a week in advance, it's pretty hard to squeeze in, but strongly recommend. So for anyone who's never been, check it out. A lot of fun, good vibes, good music. They have food and drinks, I believe. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And now that I understand how virtual golf works with the little nuances I wasn't aware of, I think I can go low, hopefully. But uh, until next time.